Street, who's traveled 2,000 kilometers. And I'd like to ask Jim and Eldred how they're feeling. They just tried to make democracy accountable today, but they were banned from Parliament Hill for 90 days. And I want to know how that makes you feel as folks who are thinking about now returning home and still facing this dam. Shame! In principle, that sucks. We're in a free society. But uh, I guess they have a job to do, and if I really was a criminal, I suppose I'd have some kind of expect something like that. But as a law abiding citizen, I expect nothing like that. But it's lip service uh, to what these bureaucrats want. It is not a standing on the principle of democracy, which we do. And Jim, there's Good. something called free prior and informed consent. Did you ever give your free prior and informed consent for Muskrat Falls? No, and I'm not going to this morning, this afternoon either. <laughs> Marjorie, did you ever give your free prior and informed consent for Muskrat Falls? Never. Eldred, did you ever give your free prior and informed consent for Muskrat Falls? No, I did not. Justin Trudeau said he supports the UN Declaration on the Rights of Indigenous Peoples, a cornerstone of which is free, prior, and informed consent. Angus is here. Angus, did Justin Trudeau and either the Conservatives or the Liberal government ever ask for your and receive free, prior, and informed consent? No, they have not. They have not. We have four Indigenous representatives from Labrador here at least today. None of them were offered or gave free prior and informed consent for the poisoning of their food web and waters and for the risk of catastrophic dam break. So the message to Justin Trudeau is, how is that respectful? How is that a nation to nation relationship? It's bogus, it's bogus. And so we're here to say, to say they may have banned us here for 90 days, but we're gonna keep up this struggle both in Labrador and across this country today. There are gatherings in Winnipeg, in Mississauga, in St. John's, in Happy Valley, Goose Bay, and in Halifax. And some of you from the media may have heard the propaganda from Yvonne Jones and some of the other so-called parliamentary secretaries for stolen resources and for fisheries and oceans. And when you listen to them, they don't understand this issue whatsoever. They are saying, oh, there's been consultation, but we just had four individuals here who have taken risks with their liberty because they were never consulted and they never gave their permission. When Yvonne Jones defends an act of impending cultural genocide, it's shameful that members of the Canadian public of Parliament who say they support free prior and informed consent and respect Indigenous rights are engaging in a $9.2 billion investment in cultural genocide. Thank you, Matthew. That's wonderful. Uh, does anyone from... Yes. There you go. So we're, we're going to head back to the Human Rights Monument, and uh, we want to thank everyone who has been here today to be part of this. There's 15 wonderful people. Yes, I'd just water. like to introduce you everybody. Water. I'm serious. I'm Jane Stinson. Right on, Jane. <laughs> thank you. I'm Hancock. Kirsten Holman. Randy Drevlin. Trisha. Sylvia. Gail. Eldred Davis. Yeah. Morris. And Kurt. Oh, and uh, Marjorie. Marjorie Stringer with feedback. Just want to you introduce know. yourself again once, once yes. more. Yeah, Sorry. Marjorie Flowers. And, and Jim Learning. Those are the 15 folks who are arrested today for seeking basic rights not to be poisoned, basic right not to live in fear of drowning downstream of Muskrat Falls. We will be back, folks. <laughs> Pictures will eventually make it to the desks of parliamentarians. That's right. They will not be forgotten. We will always try and make sure that they see their faces and they hear their voices. Matthew Do you want to say something on the live stream? Do you want to say something on the live stream? Is that flag going to go to the lady? Oh, 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 this one? Yeah, I'll give it to you. I'll, I'll touch to it. Okay. Thanks for holding No problem. I'm glad you're out. For 90 days, so we have no access to the Canadian government. So this is a government that's willing to shut down our democratic right to be here in order to protect their $9.2 billion investment in this genocidal dam. 
Okay. And so no uh, no formal charges against anybody? No, this, this is a, a basic uh, ban and bar letter, and it says if we come back, we will be charged with trespass, and further charges will emanate as a result of that. That's how scared they are of the message of, of these faces. They don't want to see these faces. They don't want to hear the voices of these individuals who are affected. They're so scared of that that they want a 90-day reprieve from it. Well, we're going to continue pushing on every other way that we can, and we will be back here on Parliament Hill. Absolutely guaranteed. Thank you. Thank you. All right, so everyone's out. The 90-day ban from Parliament Hill. Everyone seems to be okay. And um, again, write to your MP to denounce the arrest and to denounce the Mashkafal Dam project that uh, will the poison and drown people. Thank you for watching, everyone. Great, thanks, we'll, uh, Post with more news when we have them. Thank you.